Hello everyone, today we'll continue learning Python and today I'll explain args and quarks in Python. So let's start. The other day I was thinking about our project, our messenger, and I got an idea that we will use quarks, so cute args in Python. And I needed to explain what they are and uh, when I explain queued args, I need to explain normal arguments in Python. And because of that, I will create a new function, so for example, define foo, uh, which accepts x and y arguments, and simply returns the sum, so x plus y. A simple function, we can print it, print foo from uh, 2 and 5, for example, and that will give us 7. So, as you can, uh, no, sorry, not client, but encryption. So, as you can see, 7. Everything works fine. But imagine that you have to sum not two elements, not three elements, but inconsistent amount of elements. So, for example, uh, one time you use a function, you need to sum up 20 elements. The other time you need to you use your function, you need to sum up 45 elements. And that number can vary. And what we can do today? We can use args in Python to sum up inconsistent amount of arguments or to work with inconsistent amount of arguments. So what I will do? I will create args, but if I will just um, write args, that will be a name for one argument only. But Python allows us to use multiply sign, so multiply and then args. And actually that means that args are... So we have inconsistent amount of parameters in our function. And what I can do now is let's return these arguments and point out that when I create arguments in function, I use multiply sign, but when I work with them, I use only arguments as an array, so as a normal mm, parameter. Now let's start, and as you can see, it says tuple of 2 and 5. Tuple is a list which cannot be changed, and that's it. So now let's add, for example, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, like that. And as you can see, our arguments are changed now and everything works fine. So what we can do is send, for example, or return uh, the first one. So argument at the index of zero, it's two, as you can see here, or we can pass no arguments and that will return an empty tuple. And again, tuple, it's an unchanged list and you can watch my video about tuples. And yeah, actually that's it. Um, a little reminder, args are not a uh, necessary name for inconsistent amount of arguments in Python. You can call them whatever you want. So for example, hello, and then you can use hello right here. And let's pass, for example, 10 arguments. So 10 uh, like, like that. So as you can see, 10 arguments and uh, I named my args. So args, inconsistent amount of parameters, hello. And everything will work fine. But when we work in Python, we need to follow some kind of rules. So as you can see, uh, there are two white spaces or two lines after the function. If I only get one space, it will uh, pep8 expected two blank quacks after a class or function definition, because um, it will be more easy for other programmers to read your code, and that's it. And because of that, it's better to name your inconsistent amount of arguments, not hello or something, but args, as everyone does it. And to sum up every argument in our full function, what we can do is use some function, or if you don't want to use some function, you can create a, uh, a loop and then just simply sum every argument. Okay, but I'll use sum function and let's start. As you can see, we receive a number. If I'll mm, put zero arguments in my function foo, I'll receive zero because we don't have any arguments and everything works fine. And yeah, that's actually it. We can use normal arguments with args and quark, but be sure that your arguments are before your args definition. So what I mean by it, uh, we can use x then y. And for example, let's print uh, x, x, and y, y. So now I print x and y and I sum up every argument. Okay, so for example, x10, y20, and 1, 2, 3. So let's start. As you can see, x is 10, uh, y is 20, and the sum returned is 6, because 1 plus, three plus 2 plus 3 is 6, and 10 and 20 arguments are named or are assigned to x and y parameters in our function. And that's it. Actually, you can use your arguments after the args uh, definition, but nobody does it again, and it's better to follow the rules. So what I do here, I use args and then x and y. And as you can see now, my function is in yellow. So the last parenthesis uh, of my function. And let's start our function now. As you can see, foo missing two required keyword arguments only. And what we can do with it? Well, we can simply name our arguments. So, for example, x equals 10 and y equals 20 again. 
So now let's start, everything works fine. But again, everybody uses uh, normal arguments before args and quarks in Python. Arguments help us to get inconsistent amount of parameters in our function. And that's it. We cannot change them because that's a tuple. And you can watch my video about tuples. I think I did one. And yeah, actually you will understand them better. But now let's move to the quarks. So I will not change my function, but what I will do is uh, queue with args. So quarks, it's a um, contraction from queued args. So arguments with keys. And what we can do to use queued args, again, if I only use one multiply sign before any name, this will be arguments. But if I will use two multiply signs before the name, that will be queued arguments. So arguments with keys. And what we can do today? Uh, let's remove x and y to understand quark, uh, queued arguments better. And what I'll do is I'll return uh, these queued arguments. Now let's remove every argument from here because, again, we need to uh, make key and value pair. Because, again, queued arguments. So what I mean by it? Imagine that we have a label class. So label, just a simple text. And then text of that label is hello. Color of the label is color, for example, uh, I don't know, green. Then uh, we have, for example, font size, as we're doing in Kiwi, and that's 25 pixels. So again, I created, imagine that I created a uh, class label, and I use text as hello, color as green, and font size as 25 pixels. Now let's run, and as you can see, I returned my quad arguments. I, I returned my queued arguments here, and again, I don't use uh, two multi-point signs, because when we work with Keyword arguments and arguments when you use the name. You understand. And as you can see, that returned a dictionary. Dictionary is a special data structure in Python, and I haven't made a video about that, but that's key pair values. And that's it. So as you can see, our text is hello, our color is green, our font size is 25 pixels. But I think you know everything about dictionaries, and yeah, that's it. So actually, keyword arguments accept dictionaries with inconsistent amount of parameters. Again, I can put nothing here and just full with parentheses, and that will return an empty dictionary. And that's how it works, actually. So we can call text equals hello, color green, and font size 25 pixels. And now what we can do? Okay, so what I do now? As you can see, I print, first of all, the text of our label, then I print color and the color. Uh, sorry, not green, but color. And then I print font size, and uh, font and font size. Everything works fine. And as you can see, I use queued arguments from text and I pass text as hello here. Now let's run our code. And as you can see, hello, that's our text. Then color, if, which is equals to green, font, which is equals to 25 pixels, and none is because we return none from our function and we print that here. So everything works fine. It's better for you to understand dictionaries before you use queued arguments in Python. And I think I'll make a video about dictionaries, but Actually, they are pretty hard to learn in Python, to learn everything about them in Python. But yeah, actually that's it. If, for example, I will pass uh, print uh, queued arguments from, for example, ggg, what will happen? We will receive an error, because key error, we don't have that key in dictionaries. And because of that, I recommend you using dot .get function, which will return, uh, by default I think it's none, so yeah, ggg right here, I will remove that get function, and as you can see, uh, yeah, we have text, but let's call ggg, so I print quarks from get ggg, get function simply gets the value, but if you don't have value, as you can see, it sends none, and actually we can call false here, or, so let's run, as you can see, don't have the key, because we don't have ggg key in our mm, queued arguments, but if I pass text here, we'll receive our text hello, and how we can use queued arguments and arguments in one function? So simply what we can do, we can put um, arguments, so normal arguments with one multiply sign and then queued arguments. That's how actually everything is working in Python. So that's kind of role. Arguments before queued arguments, because it will be more easier for you to work with them. And everybody does like that. Now let's print our arguments and let's return our queued arguments. So what I will do, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and once I put text as hello, so once I put the name for my variable, what I will do is I will put every variable with a name into keyword arguments dictionary. But if I will put uh, variables without names, I will put them into arguments. 
and that's easy. That's how it works. So actually, keyword arguments and arguments are used everywhere. I will create Kiwi UI. Uh, if you don't know about Kiwi, it's a new UI app which will help us to create uh, not console app, but app with uh, UI with widgets and so on. And they use arguments and keyword arguments to work with widgets actually. You can go as I did here, text, color, font size and so on. So everything you need. And how we can use normal parameters with arguments and co-arguments. Keyword arguments. Again, we can use X, Y, just we do as we do in our function. And let's print. So what I do here, first of all, I assign X and Y arguments, then I use um, multiply arguments and then I use keyword arguments. And that's it. So I print uh, X plus Y sum, then I print arguments with arguments and I return my keyword arguments and because I print my uh, full function right here, that will print everything actually. So now we start, as you can see, uh, X plus Y is 3 because the first and the second uh, parameters in our function are, are X and Y. Then we use arguments with 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, these not named arguments, and then we name every argument, and they go to the queued arguments dictionary. And that's actually everything about arguments and queued arguments. Good luck!